Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 12 of our Tracksuit to the Top series, here with Lewis FC in the Conference South. Hopefully you guys are good. Today I've got for you guys a live coming, the FA Cup first round against Shrewsbury Town. Hopefully we can do a good job this episode, as we will be taking on the League One outfit in Shrewsbury. Uh, they got promoted last year into League One. They won the playoffs, I do believe. Right now, they are... Where are they in the league? Where are you, Shrewsbury? Why can I not see you? Because I'm going blind. They're 11th. I don't know why it took me that long to see them, but it did. But yeah, we're going to be playing them. Should be an interesting game. Not going to be easy by any means, but they've done fairly well in their season so far. Uh, this episode, I have for you guys the uh, kind of live come against that. Since the previous episode, as you can see, five games played. Four in the league, one in the FA Cup, I do believe. And uh, things have gone okay. As you can see, our form has tailed off a little bit in the league as of late, getting two draws and one defeat in our last three games. Uh, but following on from the superb win against Sutton United, which of course was a late, late goal for us by Jack Rowhurst, um, we have gone on okay. We've, do we've retained our top spot. However, as I mentioned, that tailing off in form has certainly hurt us somewhat. Anyway, first game of this... This result was against Hemel Hempstead. It was the only home uh, league game we won in this period. We won it fairly convincingly, 3-0. Neven and Muggeridge grabbing goals. There was also no, an own goal on our way. The next game was against Boreham Wood in the FA Cup qualifying round, a conference side. Of course, they are a team in the league above us, so I was always going to be interested to see how we fared against them. And this was a really, really good performance. Came back from behind to win. Darian Neven grabbing two, which is great for him because, of course, we signed him last year. And I wasn't sure how well he was going to be able to play for us in this division. As you can see so far, he's played superbly. Nine goals and seven assists in 14 games is a really good record. And to see him do this against a conference side was particularly pleasing. Um... So that was that. Unfortunately, our run of form kind of came to an end there as we drew. And uh, this was our second draw, I think, in the season since the opening day of the year where we drew against Basingstoke. Um, as you can see here, they actually missed the penalties. So perhaps a little bit fortunate. However, it did finish 4-4. Four, four. Um, they came back from 4-1 down to actually get a draw, which was pretty disappointing to see our lead slowly slip away. Perhaps a silver lining on this result was the fact that Matthew Lewis, who of course has been our star player so far this year, um, did grab a hat-trick. Looking at his stats here, you can see 15 goals in 15 games with 10 assists and 5 man of the matches. He's just been absolutely incredible for us this year. And um, you can see, looking at the stats here, uh, he, he was just the best player on the pitch for both teams by a uh, country mile. Been absolutely superb. The next result was actually a 2-1 defeat at home against Bromley. It was our first defeat of the season and I believe our first defeat since March because we ended the season on quite a high last year. Um, I was hoping we might get to 30 games unbeaten in all competitions. Unfortunately, that simply wasn't the case as we did draw or lose this one and obviously having drawn the previous one, um, our momentum was completely stopped. Matthew Lewis did get man of the match, however, so silver linings there again. And then in our last and most recent game, we drew 1-1 away against Hayes and Yedin. Not a terrible result because they are fairly high in the league. You can see their fifth. Bromley, who we lost to, are in fourth as well. So perhaps the two games most recently that we slipped up in... Um, aren't necessarily the worst results simply because they're against fairly good teams in our division. Also, uh, Gloucester, as you can see here, are 8th. So again, they're not one of the lower league kind of teams, one of the teams lower down in the table who I'm a little bit more disappointed to be beaten by. Looking at the actual table here, you can see we are 4 points clear at the top, which is really good. Obviously, Sutton, who we beat previously... Um, in the last episode have tailed off a little bit although they have got a game in hand but we are still six points clear of them so our tailing off in form hasn't cost us too dearly yet anyway we have got this game against Shrewsbury Town as you can see here we are going to be playing away from home against them so this is not going to be an easy game we're going to be looking at the likes of um, Neven and uh, Matthew Lewis to hopefully carry us I am going to switch to our more defensive system I think today um, but I am going to play with wingers set to attack, even though we're set to counter. Uh, I want to see these guys really hit, try and hit teams on the break, and I think the best way we're going to do this is having wing back set to attack whilst playing on counter. So hopefully this will work in our favour. Uh, playing structured, it's a variation of our 4 4 2. We can actually have two more subs because it's the FA Cup. So I'm going to bring in Mason Bush into the side there. And who else? I can bring in one more person. I'm going to bring in Lewis George, I think, just because he can cover a fair few positions. Um, we've got left mid and right mid sorted. We've got a backup striker. Um, 
my, I'm almost tempted to bring in another striker onto the bench, but I'm actually going to risk it because, well, actually no, I don't, I can't really afford to risk it. I'm actually going to risk our keeper and take Craig Mullin off. The reason I want two strikers on the bench is so that if we are chasing the game, I can throw on, you know, maybe one or two extra attacking-minded players into the final third with not long left. But anyway, we're going to this game. We'll see how we get on. Uh, hopefully, results can go our way here. Uh, and we can maybe advance in the FA Cup. It wasn't an easy draw by any means. There were a few teams in our division and even in the leagues below us still in the Cup who we could have been drawn against. Of course, at that season we did get knocked out at this stage too by Plymouth. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how we get on here. They were in um, League 2 at the time. So we are still kind of, you know, significantly below Shrewsbury in the pyramid. So hopefully we can, you know, just maybe turn up and if we get a win here, that would be amazing. Not really expecting too much, but you never know. We've been in some fine form this year and we are on the attack here as Neven gets a chance. Hits it wide, however, from not far out. That was a real opportunity to perhaps get a chance there and maybe open up the goal scoring um, floodgates, I guess, because I can see this being a pretty high scoring one potentially. But right now... Getting a few men behind the ball, but you can see Shrewsbury, they're, they're doing quite well on the ball here. We're only eight minutes in, so it's kind of too soon to draw too many conclusions as they miss their own clear-cut chances. So both teams now have missed real, real opportunities to go into the lead here. Looking at possession stats early on, we're actually holding our own here halfway through the first half, which is pleasing. Unfortunately, Shrewsbury are doing a lot more with the ball uh, despite not having it for quite so much as us. our counter-attacking tactic not working wonders right now as they will have a chance that is a superb block to block the clear cut chance um, I'm actually going to change our system I think, and I'm actually going to go to my default system just because we are playing quite well at the moment we're having a fair bit of the ball and I feel like sitting back on counter although we're having some of the ball we're not doing enough with it so going on a t like a slightly more attacking mentality really trying to press a little bit higher up um, you know, maybe craft out one or two more opportunities because right now we're having possession, but set on county, you know, we're never committing too many men up the field. We're quite happy to have men behind the ball, and it's a lot harder to counter attack if the other team's having a lot more of the ball, or sorry, a lot less of the ball than you because obviously the whole premise of counter attack is to allow them to have possession, suck them up the pitch, and hit them on the break. But anyway, uh, Shrewsbury on the attack here. Options out wide, Mears with options in the box. Smith is arriving at the back post, but Banks holds on to it. That is a great save by the keeper, and he will retain his clean sheet as we will go into half time. Um, I'm actually going to tell the players that if we can get a goal, and that can make us favourites. I don't want to tell the players we're happy because I'm not that happy. You know, I, I'm sure, like going to a replay would be a, still a fantastic result if we could hold on here. But um, I, I, do, I do feel like we need, do need to kind of step up our game a little bit as they're on the attack here. Set piece trickles all the way through. Another save by Banks. Take a bow by the keeper. Take a bow. He's, he's doing well. That keeper deserves all the bows he gives. Because <laughs> right now he is keeping us in this game. Shrewsbury was seven shots on target. But neither team yet to break the deadlock here. And we are getting quite a way into the game. I am going to go slightly more conservatively. Uh, conservative, I think. Just in terms of um, you know dropping a few players in slightly deeper than we were before. And then going more direct. Uh, I'm also going to change um, Lewis and Neven around, I think, and then play Lewis as a target man uh, to maybe flick on the ball. So Neven just to, kind of as a main outlet by our team. I think that's what we're going to do here. Um, so yeah, going a little bit more defensive, but hopefully that will work in our favour. But yeah, so far, so good. You know, 0-0 nil -nil, would certainly not be a bad result here. After you consider against Plymouth last season, we got beaten 5-1. Right now, yes, we have got our backs against the wall, but we're still holding in the game. And if we could take this to a home game, it could be very tricky for Shrewsbury. As we are on the attack here, Robinson, there's options in the middle. Cole's there. Sam Cole blocked. That was a clear-cut chance. That was a real opportunity with not long left on the clock to potentially have scored... A goal that would have put us in the lead and put us in a little bit of a driving seat. But anyway, not long left. I've not actually made any subs here. The team is pretty knackered. I probably should have made some changes sooner. Just getting too into the live com. But, I mean, looking at it, it's not been a terrible performance. And, I mean, in the final third, we've been a little disappointing. Because we've had a few chances and we've not taken them. But, on the whole, 
we've played very well here. If we could hold out now for three minutes, or no, late set piece, is this a sting in the tail? Is it? No, it's not. It's been blocked again. Heroics. Surely we couldn't hit them on the break here. It's, it can't happen. It could happen. There's still a chance here. There's two minutes left. Go on, Mason Bush. 91st minute. It's still nil-nil. They're on the break, though. It's a 2v3. They've got men over on the near side. They've got two men over. This should be a goal. Banks have saved again. Ricky Banks. What a man. What a man. He saves again. He's been a rocking goal. He will have the man of the match award, I am sure. They have had seven clear-cut chances. We have held firm at the back. And that is probably going to be... A replay earned at the dripping pan, which is superb. It's good for the finances because it means we get to play against the League One team again. But to take Shrewsbury here, yes, we've had our backs against the wall for pretty much the entire game, but we've defended so well as we've got a chance here. Bury it! Oh, that was the that was the chance. The back pass to the keeper sailed short, but no composure by I think it was Robinson. That would have almost been a goal with the final kick of the game. But regardless, that is a fantastic result to. You know, take it to Shrewsbury at home, a mid-table League One side, and finish it nil-nil. I don't know when the replay is going to be. You guys will have to stick around to find out uh, when that's going to be. But um, yeah, fans are jubilant. I'm pretty darn happy with that result. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. A first round replay is in a very short period of time, so you can expect episode 13 to be coming your way very soon. Won't be a particularly long episode, but it should be a good one given the setup that this game has provided. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Leave any comments with regards to FM down in the comments below. Other than that, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. It is me jack and i'm out